The work I'm going to do on this stove and oven combination, it's a Whirlpool, and mine is a Whirlpool Gold. It says AccuBake System, and uh, can you look at this video and maybe replace your front piece like this if it's not a Whirlpool? Probably. It's probably going to be the same types of things. So, you know, take a check on this video. It might be worth your while to do that before you call an appliance company because maybe you can do it yourself. Now I think I can replace this and get it to work according to the appliance company, the appliance service tech who came out here. Have I ever done this before? No. I want you to check it out and see if I'm going to be able to do it. Because hey, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm just going to take this nice and slow, step by step, and I think I'm going to be able to do it. I wanted to catch all this live on this video just for you because you'll see the types of things I may have to get myself into. Hey, my loss might be your gain. So take a check on this video and see whether or not you think you can do it yourself. You know what? I think you can. So I've got to take this whole top piece off. And the way I've got to do that is there's, going to, there's some little screws behind here. So I've got to pull these off. And I need to make sure I'm careful. And I've got to be careful to know that once I take this back off, I need to put it back on the same way. Okay? So those just slide off like that. There's a definite little groove in there to where I know which side's up and which side's down and all that. Okay, so just kind of think about it a little bit as you go, nice and slow. I think you'll be able to do it. Now there's some screws in here, two screws on both sides of this, of the knob area. I pulled that off. There's two screws here, and two by each one. So I've got to undo those. But before I do that, I've got to figure out how to pull this off. Now I talked to the appliance company. He said I'm going to have to pull the oven stovetop combination out a little bit because there's some screws right in here. But I've got to pull this out three or four inches to get to those screws because that's what holds this side down at the bottom. So I want you to look at this too hard and think you can't do it because you don't know how to get the screws out but just you know watch this video and um, see how I'm going to do it and hopefully I'll be able to do it for you right in here there's a screw and so I've got to pull this out I've got to drag the oven out away from the countertop about three or four inches Okay, that way I can get to the back screw there, the side screw, so I can pop this off. So I want to pull this out first before I start unscrewing too much and find I can't do it. In order to pull this out, I want to take this drawer out down here. That way I can grab this down here and pull it out. Okay, so just lift your drawer out. Usually it's just on wheels, on slides. I want to get it to there, I'm going to have to lift it up and pull it off. Wow, i got all kinds of stuff in here. This is heavy. Yours is too heavy, you can pull out all the dishes first out of it before you, you start. Theory has it that I should be able to lift this just a little bit and kind of pull it out. I don't want to pull it straight out because there's wheels or not wheels, but just little feet. I don't want to scratch the floor. But take a look at your feet on your oven and see what kind they are before you start dragging it. Now in my case, I'm looking at them and they look like they're plastic. 
I think even if I do pull it, it should be okay. But you take a look at your floor and you make the decision. But before I start pulling it out, I've got a flashlight here. I'm just going to kind of look underneath here and make sure I can do this without anything else being in the way. Looks like there's a bracket way back there that the foot is slid into. Way back there. I think that's going to be okay. I don't know why they got that bolted down there. I think it just keeps it so that the oven stays in line when you push it back in. I'm looking at the cord. There is a cord back here that's plugged into the wall. Now I don't have to do anything with that because I've already got it shut off, but I want to look and make sure I can pull it out far enough without disturbing any of the cord uh, itself and, and have it bind up and it looks like I can. It looks like I'm all set to go. So I think I'm going to try it here. Before I start pulling it, I'm just looking here and it looks like this edge is just set right on top of the counter. This is glass here, so I want to be careful with that. So when I lift it up, I'm just going to lift up this front edge, just, you know, half an inch or so, and kind of scoot it out. I'm going to be careful because I don't want to lift it up too hard or start banging on it or something. last thing I want to do is do something where this, is, this top is going to crack. So just take a few moments, kind of check it all out before you make your final decision about when you're ready to pull it out. Okay, I guess I better try this out. I'm going to put a few, my gloves on. I got a little back brace on. I got my knee pad all ready. I've never done this before, so I hope everything's going to work out okay. I think it will. I just have to... I don't know how heavy this is either here. I'm going to have to just see what I can do about lifting it up here first. Okay, there. Now, if I lift it up a little bit and kind of pull out, I'm shaking it a little bit as I go. Checking over here to see where the screw is. And, you know, I think that's far enough. I didn't pull it out very far, but I think that's all the further I need to go. Right here, there's a screw. I hope I can get it with my little screwdriver because it might be too long. Oh geez, how am I going to do this? The countertop is just slightly in my way. I might have to use a different screwdriver here. Okay. Okay, there it goes. Wow. Gee. I think I I think I can get it. Oh. I needed a little bit smaller screwdriver. Look at I do have a little stubby one somewhere. I'm just not sure where it is. I don't use it very often. Yes. Yeah, I just it's not working too well here. It's coming. I hope I can get the other side after I get this one out. Okay. Wow. Whew. Whew. Okay, I've got another screw over on this side. Okay. You know, I guess, word to the wise, you're going to be... Joe Blow Handyman. And you don't want to Joe Giver it. Get yourself a stubby screwdriver. One of the little short ones, you know. Usually the Phillips one. But every once in a while, you might need a standard one too. They don't cost very much. But luckily, I was able to do it without needing it. Okay, let's see. This should loosen up somehow. Not quite sure how just yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I better undo these other screws now, huh? Because that, this middle, could be attached into the back. So chances are I'm going to have to take all those 
all these little screws out around the knobs, you know, right here. Take all those out, and then that's probably going to free itself up. So I'm going to undo all these little screws here. And they're just small screws. And be careful with them as you pull them out. And uh, actually, before I pull it all the way out, I should look at this to see which way it's going. I don't want to start twisting that in case it matters which way it goes after I get ready to put everything back on. Okay, so watch what you're doing. Go ahead and take those screws out. Got these screws out now. Now let's see what's going to happen here. Jeez. I think there might be some more screws underneath, underneath this that I have to take out too. I think so. Aha. Okay. There's a few more screws underneath here. I have to undo those screws now too, and then this will come out.